there is a city parade today and luckily i can watch it from my balcony there are so many people here and i have been trying to count can you count the number of people in this parade there is a band in the front in one row we have three drummers and two bugle players if we look at two rows we can again count the number of drummers and bugle players the number of drummers is 3 plus 3 equals 6 the number of bugle players is 2 plus 2 equals 4 the marching band has five rows of musicians can you find the number of drummers now yes we can by adding 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 we get 15 drummers but what if there were a lot more musicians and they occupied 10 rows adding all these numbers so many times would be a very difficult task i mistake if we miss even one count we will end up with a wrong number this is when multiplications come to our rescue multiplication is a repeated addition after all if we multiply three drummers per row by 10 rows we learn that we have 30 drummers we can also use the number line to find the total number of drummers if we start from 0 and make 10 jumps of 3 units each we land at 30 this number 30 is a multiple of the numbers 3 and 10 if we increase the number of rows we simply have to increase the number of jumps we make after the first band we have the trumpet players in six rows of seven players each can you find the number of trumpet players here well the number of trumpet players will be the sixth multiple of seven Let's track it via writing first six multiples of seven. The first multiple of seven is seven. The second multiple of seven is fourteen. The third multiple of seven is twenty-one, and the fourth multiple of seven is twenty-eight. The fifth multiple of seven is thirty-five, and the sixth multiple of seven is forty-two. After each unit in the parade, we have banners. one for the band one for the dancers one for the motorcycle stunts people one for the acrobats team one for tableau and so on in total the parade has 20 such units how many banners will be needed for all these units we need to multiply one banner for 20 units of the parade and we get 20 banners as a result What if the parade was really huge and there were 3000 units like this? We would multiply 3000 into 1. That is 3000 banners. This shows us that when any number is multiplied with 1, it results in the number itself. If we want to find the multiples of a number on the number line, say 20, we start from 0 and first jump will always land on the number itself so a number is the first multiple of itself if the jumps are of one unit each we see that every number is counted so we can also say that every number is a multiple of one and itself just imagine how many skips we can do on the number line as many as we want infinite can we have infinite parade with with a lot of rows we could try time for the main act of today's parade the acrobat team is making a human pyramid look at the numbers on their shirts carefully can you see that the numbers are related the bottom row has 1 2 3 and 4 the numbers on the above row are multiple of 1 and 2 2 and 3 Three and four. The numbers on the row above it are further multiples. Can you guess what is the number on the top of the pyramid? Yes, eight sixty-four. 
what a wonderful parade. And we learned so much about multiples and how to use them to count better. Oh, here comes my favorite part of the parade, the tableaus. I am really excited to see what they have put up this time. Meanwhile, you look for multiples in processes around you. And remember, we stay curious. <laughs>